Gate Great in Agua, October 1722. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less. Oh, I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. When my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cold! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. I thought there was gonna be more to it. Because... Um... It... The, the memory thing, it showed that there was like two more memories i guess so more sail all sail so what the fuck's up what's going on i'm curious let me see anyway from what i'm guessing cuz his face looked shocked when we left off in the previous memory. Did you always know how to sail a boat? Uh. The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing the boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lark. To support us. To take care of her. 
happened to you? Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year, and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier... I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but... That wouldn't have mattered. Can I steal your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship. Large and small, but for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Now, only a little one, I hope. Can't handle too many more surprises. You think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Mm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick of the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> What's up? Oh, okay. I wonder if it's the same theater we worked in uh, in Assassin's Creed 3. <clears throat> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I, uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Saw that one coming. Well, that's, uh... I guess we're done with the... the... So th those were the memories, and it was just cutscenes. I'm a little disappointed. I'm contemplating I'm just gonna wrap up this last portion as one, just, you know, I actually does the, the, cause I don't, I really don't like to have videos that only consist of cutscenes and that I don't talk very much either. 
Although, before they even made note of it, I did see it coming that uh, his wife or his child's mother died. Especially when she was on the ship and, you know, it was just a girl. So, because of course if the mother was alive, she wouldn't have, probably would, she probably would have been a bit salty about it. But yeah, I saw, I saw that coming. I already knew that Edward Kenway was Haytham Kenway's father. But now I'm I'm curious about where Haytham became a Templar and instead of an assassin. I'm sure I'm sure I could find something they would explain that. I kind of want to let the credits roll, but then again, like, it could be, like, fucking half-hour credit roll. I don't, it'd be nice if you could, like, speed it up, though. I'd be cool with that. Um, let me see. I'm going to try to... What did I think about the game? You know, it was just more Assassin's Creed, really. Uh, some improvements here and there. Some things scaled back that I wish... They would have put more work into. I'm trying to think. The crafting, you know, like the, I kept complaining about the crafting. It'd be cool if you can craft multiples at the same time rather than just one at a time as far as like the... As far as the ammo goes. I gotta look into it, but I almost think that this took place at the same time that the Ezio trilogy took place. What else? I wish I had the camera, like, right here in front of me, because I gotta look over to my side. Actually, I could, like, watch it, sort of, as I'm looking over here. I can see the preview, and I can see the screen out of the side of my eye, but... Almost looks like they're getting down to the later portion of the credit roll. But that's why they played the fucking credits during a cutscene, I guess. So, you know, I I, I felt kind of like, I felt kind of mixed about many aspects of the game. I mean, uh, pretty much made the game mostly about like ship battles and stuff that's cool that's fine i suppose well i already knew that's what we were going to be getting into in this game but also i could see it coming because there was assassin's creed 3 and you could see where they had that idea, and then they were like, you know what, we just gotta do a full game based around ship warfare and stuff, right? I think, you know, it works. I'm cool with it. Like, they, it seemed like they kind of wanted to sort of do that in Assassin's Creed 3, but they didn't. But they definitely just went ahead and just went all out here. Now, you know, I'm thinking, I, well, you know... I was even like, I can't tell if the areas are any larger than in previous games, but it seems more like the areas are a little smaller in many aspects. Like, even the the bigger major key cities, like, none of them are as large of a scale as previous cities in previous games. But... There's just a lot of areas and a lot of towns and a lot of places. So, you know, that kind of offsets that any of the major towns were any smaller. That's that's fine. You know, the there was a big fucking world they created either way. 
And they did a damn good job of it, too. Uh, they, so far, I've, well, <laughs> I've been a little disappointed in some of the games so far. Been disappointed in the two DS games, and Bloodlines wasn't too bad. It was, it was okay for a PlayStation Portable entry. It was okay. Not the greatest, not the worst. So, I almost think that I'm still expecting that later on I'm going to encounter, like, you know, more games that take a step back. And, you know, I'm going to definitely get into Freedom Cry after this. I'm looking forward to it. Not going to play until next weekend, but that's fine by the time this all goes up by the time you even see this video i'll be long done with this by several months probably oh down to 15 percent on my tablet because i guess the companion app is just eating up more battery power than it was supposed to and let me see what else yeah, I was reading that the, you know, I'm thinking that the Freedom Cry DLC is going to, going to, going to at least take me a full day to get through, and that's cool, and then I can go ahead and play the Avaline DLC, and then I'm done with Assassin's Creed 4, I can move on to other projects, uh, I think, I think... Well, I'll, you know, I'm probably just going to end up... I might I might wrap up some trophies. I kind of want to. I kind of don't really care to. But it's like I'm really close to getting, like, max upgrades on my ship. I'm trying to think what else. You know, I, I, I also kind of wish Edward Kenway wasn't as much of a scumbag. And, you know, why didn't we have, like... You know, I would have... Oh, what was her name? Opia Abito? I would have loved to hear more of a story from her. But it seems like this was her only appearance... 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 All together in the game... I would have loved to see more of her. They didn't even... They didn't even... Bring her back near the end when we encountered two... Of the... Other assassins. I'm disappointed. I would have loved to see more of her. In fact, I want her to have her own fucking game. I want to see more of Opia Beto. What else? Oh, and I was also disappointed how late in the game that they introduced the rope. What is it? Yeah, whatever rope dart. The rope dart. I was disappointed with how late they introduced that to the game. It was like, oh, hey, by the way, here's a rope dart, and here's a credit roll. Really? That's, that's what y'all gonna do. You gonna give me a damn rope dart before I finish the fucking game. Really? As fuck you gonna do. Really? Think you fucking funny? So... That's fine, though. Like, that's cool. Also, I noticed they definitely did seem to scale back the platforming. Like, in general, they scaled it back a lot. Like, compared to previous games, they... No, they definitely did scale back the platforming. 
Eh, somewhat sort of disappointed. Other, you know, I, I'm disappointed. They did scale back the platforming quite a bit. Especially when there's not, like, the... Yeah, I remember I remember somebody did mention it, like, oh, what the fuck were they called? Where it wasn't dungeons, but it was just entire, like, platforming places. Whatever, caverns or buildings or, like, just places where there were fucking massive platforming environments. What was it? Assassin's Creed 2. I don't remember. I think I think it was just all throughout the Ezio trilogy. Maybe. I forget what they're fucking called. Like, it's been probably a year now since I last played any of them. Maybe. But... You know, I could definitely see why somebody's mentioning missing those. Because they were... They were tedious. Some of them were a little bit more tedious or frustrating or agonizing to get through than others. But they were decent, you know? I didn't mind them too much. Some of them could have been a little shorter, though, for sure. But they were definitely challenging and intense at times. There was some. There was. There was a couple of them that I actually did like a lot. They really did definitely scale back in this entry compared to the the platforming challenges that they've had in previous games. Although my most biggest challenges I've had in this game is when your character, while platforming, kind of behaves in his own mind where it's like, oh, let me jump from point A to point B. Oh, yeah, cool. I just ended up in a pit full of crocodiles because you totally didn't jump where i was trying to jump or character like gets stuck on something stupid and unimportant and then you know slows me down or fucks me up until i can jump off of it or jump the wrong way and then get myself killed again you know little things here and there but that's kind of been a defect in the series since the beginning of the games anyway. Wish I knew how long this fucking credit roll was, but you know what, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and end it. I, I need I need to fucking go to sleep. I'm 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 crashing hard from coming down from the caffeine, the coffee. Okay, what are you trying to tell me? Okay, but I'm done with all my naval contracts and all my Templar hunts. So, congratulations, finish the game. Oh, yeah, can I get to finish reading that? New Relic Portrait Emblem and title unlocked for the multiplayer. I don't think I'm going to play multiplayer, if any at all. I sucked at playing multiplayer before, and I ended up never having any video to use. So I didn't use it. And, okay, do you have anything in the world for me to do? Because I think otherwise I'm done. I can do legendary ships, but, like, yeah, Like, I don't really care. At this point, how long it's been taking me to work through the game, like, I'm just ready to move on to something else. And, you know, I wouldn't mind it as much if I had more time to work on it. But I've been working on this game for, like, a month or two now maybe more but yeah i'm ready to get on with finishing this and getting on to other stuff so i wouldn't say count on it to look forward to any multiplayer i don't think i'm gonna play any at all and yeah there we go so i'm let me just let me just get on with an outro before I fall asleep on y'all. And I know in, in, we can all cuddle and go to sleep here. You know, I'll probably just like lay down and I'll pass the entire fuck out. So okay, you're supposed to keep climbing the run, my friend. You know, some coffee at this time probably wouldn't have been too bad. Oh, that one's longer. How dare that one be hot longer? 
higher. It's higher, not longer. How dare that one be higher after I climbed up here. So... I hope y'all happen to enjoy this particular video enough to like and subscribe and I thought he was gonna fall and and drop some comments and share and any and all additional support is always very much helpful every little bit helps out a lot and always very very much appreciated And I want to thank y'all. Let me see my fingers in there. You. You right there. For joining me. For watching. For keeping me company. Dropping some comments. Sharing. Supporting my channel. My videos. My crappy shit. You know. It's awesome. Glad, glad y'all decided to come through. And... Look forward to seeing y'all join me around again here soon. Take care. Have a good one. See you around. Bye-bye.